About 18 years old, I moved to College Station, 2001. I made some poor decisions. I was supposed to go play college basketball. I took a gap year because I made poor decisions. Someone threatened to shoot me. I moved to College Station to get away from that threat. Uh, in College Station, uh, I got involved in so much immorality that I became disgusted with myself. At 18 years old, I was broken. I was drowning in my shame because of the decisions I had made myself. Nobody made them for me. I can blame it on not having a dad. I can blame it on not the best home life. But the truth is, I chose to make poor decisions. I chose that. I sat in the backyard and I looked up to the sky and I, 18, I said, I don't know if you're real. I don't even know if you want me. I am dirty. I am hopeless and I am broken. I need a father. I need one. I said, if you're real, please, please show me something that you can see me. And I just prayed a little dumb prayer. Would you show me a shooting star? Please, God, please. You ever done that? Like, God, if it's you, then make this happen. You know, I remember when I was in middle school, I'd be like, okay, if I make this shot, it's going to be my wife. I'll make, if I make this one, but this is one of those desperate, dumb throw out to God. I sat there for 30 minutes, no shooting star. What I thought that meant was that God doesn't love me. I'm too dirty and he can't use me. You know, what that, you know what that's like, right? You know what it's like to make a bad decision and that, that shame just haunts you, right? Someone just says the word pornography. All of a sudden, <laughs> affair. <laughs> we say that trigger word and the enemy just uses it and you're drowning in your shame. I live that way every day. So when God didn't come through, I thought there's no chance for me to be loved or used by God. I go inside and I attempt suicide at the age of 18. I didn't succeed, but it was a wake-up call. I go to a basketball ministry in Pasadena. They share the gospel. Here's all I say. I don't know if you're real, but if you are, forgive me. Here I am. And I meant it. And I asked them to be my father. And it's like the taste and desire for sin left my mouth. As I get into this life first, it's going to make more sense to you now. A story I cannot get away from, a story that can resonate with all of us, no matter if you have a story like mine or not, the thing that we can all relate to in this room today is how it feels to be drowning in shame. How it feels to make imperfect decisions and that decision haunts you forever. How it feels to question God's love for you when you're going through difficult, suffering things. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.